all your four bands. So we stuck, we discussed previously in the other video, the fifth gear clutch plates are integral with the train. Here you have one, two, three, and four bands. These are the rods, your adjustment rods, that when you adjust the top nut, this sets the height of the bus bar, obviously. And then you have these forks. Now I explain how this basically a quick down and dirty way of this system works. These are connected to here. That pulls the band down. This pulls it down. So they compress. And in fact, there's actually two bands in each rack. There's basically a primary and a secondary. Now what happened with this one? This first gear was chewed up and we're missing some rivets and it's been burned. This is all crystallized and you can tell the band's coming off the mount. It's been heated up, so it probably got left in first gear real bad and ran out. So we will take these off. And when you are disassembling or something like this, be very careful. As you lift up, there's a spring in each one of these. It's called a steady spring. There's eight of them off. They fit between this plate and the other plate right here, and it steadies the band. The springs can go flying, so watch that. The arms on here are pinned, and there's no key or anything. It's basically just a bolt that'll pop out. One little pin. There's gonna be four of them. So when we take these off, we'll split them. They just basically slide apart. We'll take them down to our company that we use. They'll reline these, rivets, bands, and reassemble it. Now the only thing that is required is we run the bands in. In other words, cutting the grooves in the band, which is more or less just drive the vehicle around. More to follow, but I uh, hope you guys found this interesting. See ya.